Morning people, We're on day three in Krakowa and uh, yeah man, I actually had a lie in because um, it was just such a long day yesterday, like I just needed to rest. Um, Tom on the other hand, she was like, nah, <laughs> we ain't doing that, I'm going to be up as early as possible. So I woke up and she looked incredible makeup and <laughs> hair straightening and I looked like I'd just been for a round with Mike Tyson. So, uh, good start to the day for me. <laughs> but, uh, nah, got my hair straightened. I needed to do it because I had a nice hot shower. And when I do that, because I've got long hair, it goes, just goes in all directions. So, uh, yeah, today we decided against getting breakfast. A, because we woke up a little bit later. Um, because we weren't overly impressed. that impressed by it, it was okay. But we feel if we paid a bit of money, we could get a nice breakfast somewhere. Even a punch key, that'll do. Really My, really punch I do love punch keys. They don't do them where we live, which is really strange because we have a, a big Polish community, but we cannot find punch keys anywhere. So I may reach out to my Polish brethren and uh, find out if there's any uh, punch keys in Peterborough. And if not, I know there'll be punch keys in London, so I'll go to London for a punch key. I'll just buy an entire stock's worth <laughs> and do that instead. But um, yeah, we're heading back into the old town because um, it's uh, it's pretty, what's the word, convenient when it comes to finding places to eat. It's a little bit more expensive admittedly, but because you're paying the touristy prices, but uh, we don't mind that too much because it's not like crazy high markup. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I think today, as I say, we're gonna look for some food, and then we're heading over to the uh, the zoo. And we aim to spend a few hours there, and then uh, after that, we're gonna be uh, heading over to the Uda Food Market. Um, that's uh, do some nice burgers there, apparently. So, give them a go see what they're like uh, and then we're gonna go and look at the old Jewish quarter uh, and after that we're just gonna see where our feet take us really because uh, today is our last full day in Krakow uh, a big portion of our day yesterday was spent in Osvienchim which was nice it's a different vibe Krakow is very much a modern a modern city I say modern but it's it's a modern city with a a kind of old school twist. You look at this building behind me, for instance. You'll see just the kind of architecture that you get to wake up to in the morning. And uh, yeah, it's, but then you go to Osvienchim and it's a lot more like, a lot more chilled, a lot more rural, a lot more. Um, a lot more village life kind of thing and uh yeah man i i liked it but as a result we did lose the entire day in krakow um which uh, obviously means that we have to try and win it back you know we have to try and win it back where we can oh, i just remembered <laughs> one of the downsides of coming to the old town is that you get people coming up to you trying to get you to do the horse carriage things and from what I've heard they're like they're like 60 quid in UK money to ride on a horse and carriage I mean it's you know probably one of those things where you know, once in a lifetime experience you've got to do it but for me that just that just it just screams tourism tourists tourists touristy I guess the zoo does as well so you know but I love animals and uh I'm looking forward to seeing the, the different animals. Every every place we go, we try and visit the zoo, actually. Um, yeah. And as long as the animals are well looked after and whatnot. There's never been a time we've walked into a zoo, we've looked around and felt, oh, these animals aren't being properly treated and left and tried to get our money back. It's never been a situation of that. Most zoos are obviously highly regulated by various authorities. So they have to have 
regulations, but then there may be places where that isn't so stringent. But I'm going to wager that won't be the case in Kalafal. <laughs> I'm going to wager that the zoo here is very, very nice and look after the animals very well. But uh, what a place to wake up to. Well, not wake up to, I'm not really waking up here, but <laughs> not on this bit anyway, but what a place to, you yeah, know, I've been strolling for what, five minutes? And I'm already in the central part. So for us, we uh, we were like, well, we've got two choices here. We can either get a hotel. We found a five-star hotel on the outskirts of Krakow. And we have done that quite a few times where we'll go and get a hotel um, on the outskirts of the city. So we did that in Budapest. We did that in Kost Town. We also did it in... I think it was just them two places. Yeah, just them two places. But that was enough for us to learn. That's not a smart move. So for us, we were like, let's get it near the, uh, the airport. Let's stay near the airport, as close to the airport as we can get. Because if we've got an early start, we need to be near the, near the airport. But that does come at a massive cost. So if you're doing that, then you're going to end up in a situation where you're out of the loop almost. So when we went to Budapest, for instance, um, we were, I think I mentioned before, at a place called Vichy's. Oh, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. V-E-C-E-S-E-S. -E 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 Something like that. I can't remember how it's spelled either. <laughs> it's got a little flick up of one of the C's, I think. And um, it, was, uh, it was a lovely place. Very, very quiet. And it felt like very, it felt like true hungry. It felt like the real hungry. Isn't it, Tam? Do you remember? What? The cheese. Bye-bye. It felt like... You was in the real hungry. You weren't in the touristy bit, you was in the places where people yeah. lived. Yeah, you know I mean, we were literally walking down streets where people were living. And um, that was a more authentic experience, but it did come at a cost where we would have to travel into Budapest um, for ages. You know, right about, about a half an hour, 40 minute journey. So, and the buses were irregular as well. So, We'd either have a train to catch or a bus. And uh, yeah, if one of those was delayed or, which they weren't in Hungary to be fair, they're quite regular. But if they were ever delayed or anything, then we'd be screwed. But the one problem we did have was that the, um, oh, Shapikanka, that's the potential. That's potential over there. We've got a Shapikanka cafe. This looks, uh, let's go and have a look and see what they've got. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Ham and cheese, turkey sandwich, bacon sandwich, veggie sandwich, cheese sandwich, chicken sandwich. Cool, we'll come back here if we can't find anything. Because we've already had sabikanka, and I'd like to try something different if we can. Which is why I probably shouldn't be eating my own weight full of punch keys. <laughs> but there you go but anyway as I was saying so uh, we we were out of the loop a little bit but the problem we had was that the um, the buses back to the cheese and the trains would end at a certain time so we would have to be back in our hotel at around about 8 p.m. now you think of all the stuff that you can do from 8 p.m. until midnight or 1 in the morning in terms of restaurants party life and so we came out of Budapest and we didn't like it at all we didn't like Budapest now what well, now I'm looking back I feel like we gave Budapest a bad rap I feel like we didn't give it a fair shot so we're planning to go back to Budapest soon to give it a fair a fair chance and uh oh there we go thank god <laughs> Tammy's now my uh no we don't want your services person it's usually me they can see me on the camera they're like ah screw this guy he's in the middle of something but we're still bothering <laughs> Which is fair enough, they try. They're, they're just doing a job. They're just doing a job. We have bubble tea places in Peterborough. So yeah, nah, we'll maybe go back and grab one at some point. But then they do them in Peterborough as well, so we can go and grab one there as well if we need to. It's about trying new things to happen. I don't know, there's nothing wrong with having a bubble tea. Well, I know, that's true, that's true. But, um, so yeah, we, we, we want to, I would like to go to Budapest myself. I don't know about you so much, but I'd like to go back to, to give it a fair shot. You know, as I said, I've been walking now, it's 10 minutes I've been walking for, and here we are already in the central square of Krakow, 
or just coming up to it, sorry. Now that tells you everything. If we can walk for 10 minutes and be in the, the heart of the city, what's considered the heart of the city from our hotel, and you gotta pay a couple more pennies for the hotel room, then so be it. Then so be it. It is what it is. <laughs> we've done the same in spl uh, split. We've done the same in split as well. So we've um, we've got the hotel as close to the uh, what do you call it? The the centre of town as oh, we we'll as we could. It. Yeah, we. So we've got to get a a shuttle up there. Fifty euros. That's going to cost. We're going to get it there. We ain't going to get it back. Uh, uh, that's only because of when we land. Yeah, we land at like 9 p.m. And, uh, and we have to be checked in by 9 p.m. We have to be checked in by 9 p.m. But kindly, the people let us uh, check in late, a little oh, bit they, later. They just, don't, they just don't want to use like customers. But they had a chance to get some customers, so they're like, well, we could provide a private shuttle for you if you want. And we're like, okay, how much? And they were like, 50, 50, 50 euros. And we were like, okay. Yeah, 20 quid roughly each. Fine. At least we don't have to mess about and get straight there and uh yeah but as you can see look man we're in the town square 10 you, you've just witnessed it 10 minutes it took so i'd recommend doing that learn from our mistakes don't try and book a hotel on the outskirts of the city even if the yeah i was just saying about well i didn't mention about cost but yeah cost was particularly difficult so for cost we didn't realize but the buses in cost were very irregular um they were. They, I think they run like twice a day. Tw one in the morning, no, three times a day. Three. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, and that's it. And your only hope of really being able to get to the central town is via a taxi. And a taxi to Cost Town can cost 40 euros each time. So let's just say we're there for three days. Yeah? We want to go there and back each day. That's. 80 euros per day per trip now we also had the kids with us as well so we had to buy a bigger car so that was 60 euros and it was yeah it was difficult man we ended up going to cost town once and then we ended up doing a lot it was a very rural holiday that was as rural as it got we was in a place called antimachia antimachia i think it was pronounced and uh we um yeah we we didn't really didn't really get to do much there. We loved Kosovo, we did, but we loved it for the pure beauty and the people there were so friendly. In Hungary, people were friendly. But... Oh, okay, there's a giant head statue here yesterday and it's now gone. And I mean, it was gigantic. It was huge. So they've just taken this gigantic head statue and just got rid of it <laughs> out of nowhere. So, yeah, kind of aiming around wonderlessly now. At Wandering around aimlessly now, we're going to try and look for some food, uh, some breakfast, get down and eat something nice. We probably will just go to that Shapia Kanka shop if we can't find anything that really jumps out at us. And then uh, we're going to get the bus over to the, the zoo and then we'll, uh, we'll go and do some adventures there. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and, uh, go and have a little look around. So, right. We'll see you shortly. Cool, so we decided to go a little bit off the beaten trail and we decided to come to a milk bar. Um, it's uh, I find that this place is called in a minute. When we leave, I'll show you. But, um, oh, um, which one is it? Sorry, Paragon Fisalki. So, this was uh, so we've got I've got Gobovki which is like um, Gwobfki, sorry, which is like uh, stuffed cabbage rolls. And Tammy's got a, what is it, ham and cheese? Cheese and egg. Cheese and egg roll. And then we've got two, um, what do you call them? Uh, wow, that's awesome. We've got two um, fruit juices, a hot chocolate, and I've got a tea, which is, I believe, how do you pronounce it again? There's a way of saying tea. But um, anyway, so I'm going to give this a quick go now. I'm going to try and do it one-handed. I, I, I actually need a uh, knife and fork, so I'm, uh, time's going to go and find one. But um, <clears throat> this came up to 64.80, 64 64.8 zlotys. I don't know what the other currency is. So you've got zloty. We'll just say 65 zloty, which is roughly about £12.42. But all of that. Look at that bad boy. I'm well chuffed about that. So nice one, thank you, darlings. 
So, just gonna hand the camera to my lovely assistant quickly. If you just wanna film me eating this for Rocky, and I'll give you my first thoughts. Wow, look at that. So we've tried to make this at home before ourselves. And um, yeah, oh, look at that. So you've got meat with rice, and it's wrapped in cabbage, and this is kind of a mushroom sauce. I wanted to try Gorovki. I also want to try Beagles, so I might come back here later if it's still open. Let's find what time this place closes. But they spoke impeccable English, impeccable English. Really good. Mmm. Wow, that is stunning. Now, what time is it, love? Half ten. It's half ten, local time, and I know I'm eating cabbage rolls for breakfast, but hey, I'm on holiday. Some people start drinking this time on holiday. I was like, who cares? It's, you know, there's no rules. We're not bound to rules. If they sell good wolf kit this time, I'm having good wolf kit this time, you know? So, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy that yellow label tea in a minute. Let's try some of this juice. It's fresh juice. I think this is, what is it, berry? I don't know, it just said um, fresh juice. Oh, mixed berries. Look at that, that's fresh. You can actually see the berry, um, oh, okay. the, like the the pulp in there. I don't know if you can see that, so that is yeah. freshly pressed. That's on there. Do you mind if I try a bit of your hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's, <laughs> wow. We're living in the wrong country town. We need to move to Poland. I think my luck of Polish. Don't worry, I won't eat your sandwich, but I will. I won't film you eating it. <laughs> I'll get your thoughts on it. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we're, we're just show, show, let's just show everyone what's in it then. Tam likes to deconstruct her food, which is good because uh, it makes it easier for me to prepare things. I don't have to put it all together. Okay. But so you've got eggs, you've got cucumber, and you've got some cheese. Nice and simple, just a good roll. I mean, there's no need to review the roll really, is there? Because we've all tried a roll in our lives. And we'll let Tammy <coughs> slowly tear that thing apart. But I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this Kowalski. And what an absolute bargain. Definitely come to a milk bar if you're in uh, Krakow. Absolutely beautiful. And I'll get the name of it. I'll get the place before we leave as well. But it's, it's really nice. Really, really nice decor. Really, we're the only people here as well. Look at this, we came at the perfect time. So yeah, really good. So the wife's having a good laugh currently because I just ruined my tea by putting salt in it. And I thought that was salt, <laughs> I thought that was sugar. <laughs> Should have told because there was some pepper next to it. Should have really known that. So uh, I quite like salt, but not in my tea. So, and if you're wondering with milk bars, um, I don't know if you can see this over here, but that sign over here says, please return the dishes. Now, I didn't Google translate that before I started doing this. But um, yeah, so Tammy, if you want to, I'm, I'm doing this. I just want to put the thing back. Oh no, you still got that. So she's still got that. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go and have a little walk around. Yeah? Awesome. And go and show the people the sign. Kishna. Dikuya. You were good, didn't you? So. This is the place that we went to, Bar Mleksni, Podtemido. I think that means milk bar. I don't know what Podtemido means though. Um, and to tell you, to take the truth, I don't know how to find this place. We just kind of walked, but there's the main town square down there basically. So you just make a beeline this way. If you just type in that bar in the, uh, in the place itself, but yeah, you've got this lovely building here as well. The wife is still enjoying her drink in there, so I'm. Uh, I'll give you the uh, give you the, the the 360 shot there. Look, hello. <laughs> so she's still enjoying her drink, and I, I, I'm I'm pretty much yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. My wife takes a little bit longer to get ready than me, so I thought, why don't we just do a little walk around and see what we've got here in old Krakow. But this is the kind of sights that you'll see, really. These are the kind of uh, views you will see. Uh, some cowboys. <laughs> uh, you will see various different types of shops. Um, kebabs as well. If you're a fan of kebabs, you can buy them from here. I think, look at that building. 
and the Spanish flag. I wonder if that's the Spanish embassy perhaps in Krakow. Um, I shouldn't go too far actually because the wife will probably be wondering where I've gone. But uh, I'll take a little stroll over this direction as well so we can go and have a little look. I like segways. I'd love to get on one of them but I've got about as much balance as a, well, as somebody with no balance. I can't think of anything funny to say. Unfortunately, it's too early in the morning for me to have any, any form of humor. But yeah, this building over here is quite interesting. So I'll walk in this direction and the wife will probably have a bar me at me if I, if I go and disappear. I think she's probably messaging me to ask where the hell I've gone. I'm still here, Tam, don't worry. I'm just strolling in that direction just for a few seconds. There's this nice church over there. Just want to go and have a look at it. Oh, okay, she's done. <laughs> Necked it. So yeah, with a milk bar, I think Tammy would demonstrate now, but basically it's self-service. So you put it over there. Um, that's how they work. But man, the food was amazing. It was so, so good. It was literally the best food I've had so far in Poland. <clears throat> the potato pancake just, they were really nice. <clears throat> But they're a little bit on the salty side as well. So, uh, but yeah, this is the place. Bar Yeltsny. That's how you say it. And they do just eat as well. And you've got quite a few, few different options as well. So, uh, if you have a look here, these are the choices. Not sure where vegetarian dishes. Yep, these are your soups. These are your cottage cheese. This is your dish with me. This is what I had here. I had gawowki. And then there's various condiments and stuff. So yeah, it's a good place, man. Definitely, definitely check it out. And it's in a beautiful location. So we were sat, as you see, in this place here and we we're overlooking this beautiful vista. So that's what it's all about, man. Like, how do I not put, uh, salt in my tea that would have been a bit more successful i'm glad i kind of spotted it before i took a big sip though but hey it gives me an excuse oh look at these i have to keep tammy away from some of these ice cream stands she's been showing an interest well if you want to get some ice cream love you've got the card with you it's the right day for it you want to let the food go down <laughs> just had your breakfast that's fair enough just thought i'd check wow 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 look at this so I thought I'd kind of mix it up a little bit and I'd do a, try to squeeze as much in from this holiday as I can. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a walking tour for you guys as well. So you could see a little bit of, the, so you see what we're seeing from a, a point of view kind of perspective. And look at that. That ain't messing about that view. <clears throat> really, really pretty. I had a feeling this area would be nice actually because uh, when I was having a little walk over here I saw this building just here yeah that takes that takes a whole nother meaning that does it's all right, love. look at that sun glistening down from there what a shot and the wife is being the old photographer again I shouldn't say old actually that may get me in trouble and maybe brave but they do some concerts classical concerts there's probably an entry fee to get in here, so, but yeah, beautiful place, beautiful building, plenty of history in this, uh, in this wonderful city. So ooh, there's another, another thing over here. So Poland wasn't somewhere that I thought about coming, to be honest, um, not because I, you know, didn't, but you know, didn't think about visiting Poland, but I just didn't really, it's not, it's not advertised as much as it should be as a, as a go-to destination. You know, you get Vienna or Prague. I mean, I guess given the amount of tourists here, it probably is quite popular, but I don't know. It's just not something that I personally stumbled upon. Look at that. And um, yeah, because of that, we, I didn't you know, really know about this place until Tammy suggested it. So uh, as a result, we, uh, I, I could have, I could have missed this place, so I kind of owe it to Tammy actually. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to walk back to the main square. You ready, Tam? You want to take some more photos? Oh, that's nice. And you got that as well. Lots of Spanish flags actually. It's interesting. 
Well, we need to, I mean, ironically enough, we need to go back to the hotel because we forgot something. Um, uh, but the, the great thing is actually, we live, we live quite close to where the central bus station is. Live, sorry, we're staying. <laughs> we're staying where the local bus station is. So um, we're probably gonna get a, uh, have an easier time trying to get a bus from there. But yeah, that's nah, beautiful. What a city, what an, what an actual city, man. I've uh, got the Italian flag there. I believe that's the Italian flag and the European Union flag, which we're no longer part of actually, because we're UK nationals. So uh, we get confused and we still try and go through the EU member section of the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> the thing is though, I, I am eligible for EU citizenship because uh, my, my grandma on my dad's side is Dutch. So I don't know if I can invoke any sort of Dutch citizenship there, but if need be, and things get desperate, there's always that. But to be honest, currently, because uh, this is part of the Schengen area, we're allowed to come here and stay here for, I think it's up to three months, visa free. So uh, I'm assuming that's a little deal that we kind of managed to strike before, before we jumped. But this ain't, a this ain't a political channel, so I ain't bothered really about discussing that kind of stuff, but it does make the, uh, the airport thing more interesting nonetheless, because you're, uh, you're going through and you're like, Am I an EU citizen? No, no, I'm not anymore, am I? Because obviously when you think of non-EU, you think outside the, of Europe. And we are in Europe. We're classed as a European country. But I guess really now we're just a, a lonely little island sitting out there in the breeze all, all by ourselves. Which is uh, actually quite a scary thought. <laughs> Probably shouldn't look at it like that. I'll go back and be like, oh, we're just on an island. This is all so insignificant. <laughs> but, yeah, really nice, man. I'm quite thirsty though, so the good thing is Tammy's got quite a good level of Polish as well now. She doesn't, I don't think you have the level of confidence to speak it. I don't think you believe in yourself, but I've, I've heard you do it when you've been forced into a situation where you've got to speak Polish. But then, uh, you know, one thing Tammy's kind of taught me on this holiday, sometimes a shake of the head or a wave of the hand works just as well as uh as anything else tattoos <laughs> i'm a i have quite a few myself and uh the wife has a few as well all right sorry about that oh yeah <laughs> i didn't realize this but my phone now has like a 10 minute limit on videos because of just how many videos i've been filming and obviously that's quite quite resource intensive um but yeah basically I was just doing a little stroll up and down the street, really just seeing what there was. And uh, now I'm sat in the Central Park area, overlooking this beautiful building here and surrounded by lovely green trees and scenery. So we're going to head back to the hotel shortly and uh, go and get a hat for me. It's so humid that my hair's not surviving the heat, as you can see here. Um, and Tammy needs to go and get a few bits for herself as well. Probably perfume or makeup or whatever it is, I can't remember now. <laughs> she did tell me, but I was in the middle of talking. And oh, there's something really awkward happened as well. Like, for the first time since my trip here, I actually forgot how to speak Polish or forgot the sentences in Polish. So I went up to this shop selling ice cream and I didn't, manage, I didn't vlog that because it was just a little ice cream, really. And there's no need to vlog ice creams, but oh. Uh, just a little ice, it was like a Kinder Bueno ice cream, which was quite nice. It was, it was a little bit small for what we paid for, but it was, it was decent. And um, I just stood there and I went blank. I was just like, Tammy, how do, you, how do we speak Polish again? And she was like, nie mówię? I was like, close. And I was like, czy mówisz po angielsku? And she was like, yes, tak, tak. I was like, I'm so sorry about that. I just forgot how to speak Polish. I've been speaking this whole journey and I've, this is the first time I forgot the sentences. So uh, I do apologise, but she's very understanding, and um, she she just uh, she laughed it off. And from there, I just I tried to uh, speak as much Polish as I could to make up for the lack of Polish I understood. There, just to show that I knew some Polish as well. So I was like, "Jeden Kinder, Kinder Prosher, Tak Tak Nie Nie, Zwoty Prosher, Zwoty Prosher." So yeah, man, it was. Uh, it was tough, man. But yeah, when you come abroad, I forgot to mention this as well, when you come to a different country, always pay in the local currency. Because if you pay in your home currency, 
you'll get shafted by the conversion rates, absolutely shafted by the conversion rates. But if you pay in the local currency, you don't get the conversion rates on top of what you usually get. And it nets, nets them a little bit more money or something, I'd assume. I don't know, maybe they, I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but if you get a choice between playing, playing in Zvoti, or if you get a choice between play, paying in like your local currency, unless the exchange rate between your local currency and Zvoti is like a lot different, like if it's the UK, then just go, go pay, pay. If you're paying by card, pay for uh, paying Zvoti every time. Um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, Tommy's on the phone to various family members, just uh, catching them up on uh, what we've been doing because we've got a few of the boys staying around their nans. Um, it would have been lovely to bring them, but we took them to Kos and it cost us upwards of a grand. Whereas this holiday cost us, oh man, I can't remember now. I think it was like 320 quid. And then we've got like 250 quid spending money. We travel quite cheap, cheap as we can. I mean, it's only 125 quid each spending money for all our meals and transport. So it's not much, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's not. <clears throat> and you gotta bear in mind as well, like, again, we don't really tend to drink or anything like that, unless it's for a video to review it. You know, it's like, you know, but even that's uh, a little bit rare. And um, yeah, we, uh, we most of our money does go on, go on travel. So, you know, we, we do, uh, we do, we do, Put most of our money into the travel because uh as i say prior to the pandemic we um uh, well prior to the pandemic me and tammy weren't together actually uh we hadn't we had we knew each other we've known each other for like 30 years we hadn't got together at that point um <clears throat> we got together in 2019 so uh yeah we got together <laughs> close to four years and um married for two and um yeah during the pandemic, I booked uh, Dubrovnik, Paris, Vienna, Copenhagen. I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. Quite a few holidays that I had booked for various things. Uh, like, I think Dubrovnik and Vienna was for me and my son. And then, uh, sorry, tell the truth actually. So I booked Dubrovnik originally for me and my son. That got cancelled by the pandemic. I got some vouchers, purchased Vienna, and had a bit of money left to purchase a trip to Copenhagen, 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 Copenhagen. And um, <clears throat> then uh, that got cancelled as well by a new pan, by a new lockdown. So we kind of had a lockdown, came out of the lockdown. I purchased tickets to go to Vienna. Then a new lockdown sprung up out of nowhere, and that got cancelled as well. <clears throat> In the end, they ended up with all these kind of random vouchers from different holidays that got cancelled throughout the pandemic. So, to be honest, I should have known. Should have been more. Uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing, I guess they say. But uh, I didn't have that hindsight at the time, and uh, I just just booked as many holidays because uh, I mean, before this, I didn't travel from the age of 16 until the age of 30. I'm 34 now, so as you can imagine, I'm really playing catch up at this point. Hence the reason why I've gone on all these like random trips recently. And as well because there's no lockdown stopping me from doing it. Um, I'm just getting my fill really. So we've got Croatia in three months after this trip. And uh, during that I'm also focused on the weight loss journey as well. So eating punch and stuff probably doesn't help. But um, we're on holiday. You know what I mean? We're on holiday and I'll get back and do a lot of walking as well. I didn't quite do 32,000 steps just there, I did 28,000, but that's still quite a lot. I mean, that's that's close to 13 miles, I think it was, on foot, and I'm not a small guy by any stretch of the imagination. So, doing that amount of walking when you're a big when you're a big chap is uh, is a bit of a challenge. But I did it. Got blisters on my feet. Haven't really had a chance to let them heal either. Tammy was like, just pop them, just pop pop the blisters. It's fine, just pop the blisters. I'm like, oh, I'll get infected if I do that. No, no my luck. So, yeah, avoiding popping my own blisters if I can help it. But, um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things, I guess, you know, like sometimes you just gotta go through a little bit of pain to, to do some exploration. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what, what, I, uh, what I wanted to do, is I wanted to explore. Uh, to be honest, yesterday was primarily about Tam, um, Osvienchim, Auschwitz, whatever you want to call it, is uh, was kind of for her. 
I never really harboured any ambitions of going to Auschwitz, to be honest myself. But um, I thought, why not? Uh, let's let's do it. You know, make the wife's bucket list come true. It's a very strange bucket list item from my perspective. Most people just want to go stay in a nice shiny hotel on the white crystal beaches of somewhere. But she wanted to go and do some some more dark tourism, which uh, each to their own, I guess. But you know, I uh, I personally <laughs> I personally wanted to go. I personally prefer to go somewhere a little bit more more uh, more chill. But then some people like dark tourists and some people like to go and see the nitty gritty out there and that's who Tam is, you know. Just saying how you like to do the dark tourism. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I was I'm more interested in the uh I'm more interested in the um the kind of the more this this kind of side of things I guess, the more sitting in front of beautiful buildings, talking crap to a camera. I nearly walked out straight in front of that police car. <laughs> I noticed, yeah, I saw that as a police car just driving down the uh down the street there. There's quite a few of them, so uh, they're probably after you, Tam. Probably. But, um, so. yeah, this, this is what it's all about for me. But um, anyway, yeah, I thought I'd kind of try and fill in the uh, the gaps here a little bit with that disappearing video, and this is almost 10 minutes, so I better, better end this. But Tam's going to run off to the hotel. I'm going to keep myself parked here and look at this beautiful building. Do you know the way to the hotel from here? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you know the way? Wicked. Uh, yeah, it's just on there. Yeah, and then just meet me back here, love. Yeah. And then... Uh, yeah, awesome. So I'll let her go and do that and then we'll go and get the bus to this zoo. Okay, so things haven't quite gone to plan. Uh, it's currently raining in uh, Krakow now. And uh, that initial burst of humidity is now turning into full-fledged rain, as you can see from <laughs> the, uh, the, the various bullies that have come out. And I, um, my hotel actually is, where is it? It's, like literally, I think it's in that direction somewhere, like literally about a, a minute walk away. But I want to go to this zoo. Um, we've got two problems that happened to us. So the first problem is that we have a ticket machine over here in this bus stop. That doesn't work currently. We've got some engineers trying to fix this ticket machine. And then the second issue is that, well, we thought, okay, well, there's an application, a mobile application that we can just uh, get a ticket from. Um, and we tried to get the ticket from this mobile application, it was called uh, Mobilet. And everything was okay, it seemed to translate okay to English, but then there was this little problem where it was like asking us for a vehicle side number, or a side vehicle number. And maybe that was an incorrect translation, but I don't understand what that's asking for. So we can't use the app either to purchase tickets. So Tam is just over there somewhere, trying to, where that tram was, trying to find a ticket machine that works. Um, my feet are currently very, very blistered actually, so this, uh, we're going to have to probably do a lot of our transport by, uh, by, by, and it's raining as well, so it's a very walkable city though. You'll hear a lot of people say that about cities, like this is one of those cities, very walkable, like everywhere you go there's just something happening or there's a like, beautiful piece of architecture, so uh, it's okay, but my feet, it's got them blisters where when you put pressure on them, because they haven't popped, you can feel the pressure building up on the blister as if it wants to pop and it's very uncomfortable um, to walk on and I've got them all over my feet everywhere all over my heels and it's very uncomfortable so um, and now that it's really it's starting to hammer it down now look lovely absolutely hammer it down um, I'm, I'm kind of in shade I'm underneath this tree I'm still getting rained on um, but it's enough to not make my camera get completely drenched by, by the air, uh, by the water. So I'm just gonna, but yeah, we've got to deal with this now. I was going to the zoo, which will be fun. So uh, hopefully it works out okay. Hopefully it dies down a little bit. Tammy's returning, so hopefully she got a ticket. She got the tickets, result. So we will be traveling shortly. And there's various, ah, there we go. So what yeah, did you buy? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> almost lost them then. So we brought the 24 hour Godzini, which is like 22 zloty, which is no idea about, about four or five quid, something like that. But yeah, everyone's got the brollies out. Me and Tammy are sat here in shorts, looking like tourists. But then again, we're not the only ones. There's a lot of people that have been caught short. Do you know how nice weather. it is though? It's very, it's very refreshing though. Can't complain. But we're gonna get on this bus to the, to the uh, zoo. And we'll hope that the, uh, the weather's kind to us in the zoo. 
Okay, we found our we found our tram. We're on it. Happy days. And we're seated. So we're going towards. We've got to get off the stadium. And can we see that? So yeah, we're going towards the Krakowia Stadium. Oh, it's nice to be out of the rain. <sighs> Bloody hell, look at this. Absolutely hammering it down out there. Yeah. Well, Hopefully we'll get there. The museum, so we've got to ride three stops. Get off the museum. Awesome. Then we'll do that. Yeah, there's a, I think that's the park we were at earlier, wasn't it? That's just great, great, great skies. Yeah, it'll take about seven minutes to get where we need. Okay. Yeah. It's a very nice, very nice city to travel through. Very, very nice city to travel through, in fact. Just like parks and uh, greenery everywhere. Lots of people in the same situation as us, caught in their shorts, running around in cold, wet weather. <laughs> I say it's cold, it's probably like still about 30 degrees. Yes, it's really warm. Yeah, warm but rainy. Probably be thunderstorms. We can use these on the trams. Okay, cool. This is a tram tam. Tram tam? Okay. Yeah. Want a tram noise? Okay, cool. I think we're on a tram. Are we? I believe so, yeah. It looks like a tram to me. Yeah. So yeah, doing a POV of us on a tram, so you can see what travelling on a tram in Krakow is like. Lots of lovely parks that you're going through. I think this is one that we went through. No, I don't know. They all look the same. Yeah, no, it's the same one. What that we went to yesterday? Yeah, no, it's the exact same one that we was at earlier. Quite pick it up. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we're on bus number two now, heading over to the zoo. Um, it's quite a nice little part of the city. It's a little bit more, um, a bit more urbanised. Um, yeah, nice and straightforward, really. I think I've got a really uh, compliment back on the front is uh, is the transport links. They're really. Um, Ah, the stadium. Stadium. Stadium? Stadium. There you go, look at that look. I believe that's a... Uh, yeah, look, the football stadium of Krakowia. Which is a football team in Krakow. I really wanted to go to watch a game. That's one of the things I wanted to try and do, is uh, each country I go to try and watch a football game. Or a soccer game, or whatever you want to call them. A uh, football game of the, uh, in the local city. But, um, yeah, just not. I think it's the off season in Poland, perhaps, but yeah, not managed to do that just yet. This is quite nice. We're going for a place called Baba Yaga. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is quite interesting actually, because I believe there's a Russian tale called Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. And this is a really. I've never been through a bus route like this before. Oh, look at this. Very green. Very leafy. Yeah, man. Most of the time when we go around in England, it's just like graffiti and stuff. We don't usually get views like this. Well, not that I know of anyway. But uh, yeah, man, look at that. Baba Yaga. Which uh, I'm kind of scared because I'm worried that witch is going to jump out at me. <laughs> yeah, nice little view. So just arrived at the zoo and it's in a beautiful location. Look at this. In the middle of like a wooded kind of area. So uh, let's go and have a, a closer look at what we're seeing here. Don't know how well you can make out all this. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, it was about uh, 
So there was two stops and it was, I think in total about half an hour journey. What do you reckon Sam, about half an hour? 15 minutes per ride, if that. Maybe 15 minutes for one, 10 minutes for the other, about 25 minutes, half an hour with traffic included. So yeah, not too long. And it's in a very pretty location as well. I've been to quite a few zoos around Europe, but I've never been to one in a place like this before. In the middle of the woods. In the middle awesome. of the woods, really nice. How cool is that? So uh, yeah, we don't know what to expect in terms of uh, in terms of the zoo itself, how big it is, how long it takes to get round. But we've set aside about three hours to do it. So this will make up, this is the main kind of touristy slash attraction thing we're doing today. Just trying to straighten out the camera, there we go. So it's the main thing we're doing today. Sorry, my love. Yeah, Just straightening herself up. Here we go, so, oh, I can't read the signs not in English, but if anybody understands any of that, not that I'm going to be able to read it, darling, because it's backwards. Is it backwards, is it? <laughs> okay, if somebody can read Polish backwards, and, uh, then that is a skill. <laughs> but, that's a skill within itself, yeah. If you can read Polish backwards, then you, my friend, should be oh, so putting yourself into, a, into some sort of a record, world, world record book. Or into some sort of apply for a world record. How fast you can read Polish backwards. But yeah, it's a good day for it. It started to, the, the rain's eased up now a bit for us. And we're here at the zoo, or the odds, because it's backwards yeah. according to this. <laughs> and it is very warm. And Tammy's got the tickets. I can't remember how much we paid for the uh, entrance actually. It was quite cheap though. Uh, it didn't cost much at all. But yeah, it's done a 360 and now it's hot again. It's very it's very much like English weather in uh, in Poland. Like one minute it's freezing and raining and then it's hot. Boiling hot within seconds. So we're kind of acclimatised to this. Right, we're gonna see what's going on with our PDF because it doesn't seem to be loading and then uh, we'll go and have a look around the zoo. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a nightmare. The uh, the ticket was so small, bless her. The lady couldn't read it, which is understandable, so she was like What's your name? And I was like, but I couldn't understand that she was asking that at first. Because I've not learned that. I know how to say my name is, so my name is Bobby or something like that. But I don't know how to, uh, if someone's asking me what my name is. But we got there, we got there and I thanked her and stuff and she seemed quite happy that I could speak a bit of Polish to be able to at least do some communication. So let's, uh, let's have a look. So we've got some flamingos here. But anyway, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll do, uh, I won't do a, don't look at my mug all day, so we'll go around the zoo normally. Okay, okay, so we just finished at the zoo, and uh, I've got to say, man, it was, it was a really good, really good little day out. Um, location was really nice, as you can see, we're still in the, part of the woods, um, and yeah, it was, exhibits that they were trying to build. Yeah, it was quite cheap to get in. I think it was like 80s Watty or something like that. We have to get the, um, have we got the um, PDF still? Yeah. I think it's got the price in it, but yeah, I think it's, I don't know how much it was, but like, I think it was, I think it was like 76 Watty maybe, or something like that. But um, yeah, it was a good deal. 76 Yeah, 76 Watty. Do you know how much is that? And that was for both of us as well, so 76 is what you for both of us that we paid to get in. And it's about two hours to get around the whole thing. 
Um, so yeah, we, uh, we certainly certainly enjoyed it. There were giraffes, there were elephants, there were big cats, but the big cats were they were in hiding. Yeah, the lions. They they were just uh, they were hiding away, which is fair enough. It's again quite hot day. Um, saw some jaguars, yeah, leopards as well. Um, various, various different things. Um, yeah, how much is how much is that? Well, one thing you will find though is that you will struggle to get signal because um, you're out here in the kind of woods, so uh, the signal can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Um, but yeah. I think uh, all in all it was really good. I mean, I'd definitely recommend getting the bus as well because the view, like the, I don't think there's any other way of getting here thinking about it. I mean, you could get a taxi, but you know, getting on public transport and hanging out with locals and stuff and experiencing this, you know, as the locals would travel with, is a much better, you know, it's a much more interesting experience. So it's £14.61 um, for both of us. So that's about like £7.50. Seven pound sixty. Seven pound thirty. each. So that's amazing. Really good value for money. There's a big zoo. It's quite a lot to see. Um, they're extending it. And they, yeah, said they, they're, they're extending it out. So we're gonna go head back to the hotel now and go and rest. And uh, yeah, hopefully get some food in a bit.